Okay, before you suggest the gym, why don't we go crazy and do something fun instead? Or maybe you want to keep that foot out of your mouth. So helpful. Blood. There we go. Perfect. What does that mean? Hello. And what about the local lingo? Have you picked any of that up? Go. Perfect. What does that mean? Hello. To London, being here. It feels like you've done so much in 23 years. What are you most proud of? Is it learning German? Danke schön. Danke schön. <laughs> Guten Tag. Tag. <laughs> to see him go and obviously things like that. I messaged him, make sure everything was okay with him. But let's talk about Nuno. Come in, had a great. We know about the potential of a points deduction. Do you feel as a regrets at all, Callum? And most importantly, because I feel like this doesn't get asked very often, but are you happy? Do you feel happy? Do you help you to... I mean, honestly, it, it needs to have its own Instagram account, her hair. It is so gorgeous, isn't it? it it's How? gorgeous. Hair. There are three key elements to this. Now, I've got a couple of recommendations here. We've, we've got a clear, kind of rebonds the inside molecular level oh. of your hair. And the second element to making sure you have shiny hair is um, using any... Michelle <laughs> does look after her colour oh. very well. As you can see, it hasn't faded. Now, with this... So, we have prepped the hair with... Color Wow. Now, this is called Dream Coat. This is super weighted and it's great for getting that glass like finish. So, I'm going to show you very quickly. We also prepped it with a little bit of oil, not too much, and this is Deep Frizz by Living Proof. Wow. So, okay. I'm going to very quickly show you a yeah. bit of a science lesson here. If you can imagine that mm -hmm. and the nozzle to basically flatten that cuticle layer um, to make sure that. Look. So, there you go. Let me just run my hand. Yeah. Wow, that's probably. The thing bit of a problem with yes. bounce, doesn't it? The light yes. and everything. It absolutely does. Yeah. Now, <laughs> um, now, getting that shine out of, is I've used Sam McKnight Nourishing Balm. To use the Liz Earl Hair Nourishing Oil, which is gorgeous. Oh. Yep, and just product over here. We're also going to finish off with this in just a moment, which is the Colorwell Extra Shine Spray. Ooh. I'm using a slightly different, this is just a hot brush. There's many on ITVX. <laughs> Uh, because that was absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Jordana. Thank you. Loved that. Put in one pieces to take the effort out of getting ready. Okay, before you suggest the gym, why don't we go crazy and do something fun instead? steps you played in character even when you were like no 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 mom when you are holding vanessa you tend to take your shoulders forward so just watch the banjo oh i love it i hope you enjoyed that thanks for the cast of shrek the musical you can catch them on tour right now and in london at the event of apollo this summer but now look yes you'll see some familiar faces here look mark from the chaser michelle how are you Hello. both Hi. Good. Good. Yeah. By the way, you're supporting tonight. Oh, I'm staying true to our marks. I'm Mark and Adele. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's so just strong with everything. She is very positive. Yeah. She's amazing. And you know, can be. We, we want you to have some have time a holiday on. as well. She's yeah. Like, she's that's just fab. very, very typical. But look, you've got lots going on. Tell me, Dave and Dusty. We're either going to have a Dave, a Derry, or a Dusty, nice. and we won't be Dave and Dusty. Learn to dance. I was saying to Tyler okay. before. It's you learn a routine. Right. But then this. To your kids, yeah. I mean, I know your little one is like, yes. So she loves it. Oh, so that's no, good. Be fine. She's your best critic. There's no yeah. point. I mean, I know longer, but I think yeah. because we're apart so much, that's why it feels longer. In, in a nice fan. So he's he's like the Anton. He said he's the nice the nice judge. Right. I mean, I, I get how people would find it strange that we're apart a lot. Yeah, it's very healthy. Yes. I do think it's very healthy. Definitely. I think that, that you know, your own hobbies, your own, you know, you, all of that, and work. Is I'm great, but together it's like. 
kind of more unstoppable. It's, it's just so nice. Not professionally, no. just do it for fun. Exactly. And I always say to her, even if you're not like Papa, you can. She loves. We, we put music on every morning in the house when we're having breakfast. And it's great. Yeah. yeah. We all know the name. BP, the energy titan. Now they made eleven billion pounds in profit last year. A lot of money, but that's less than half the profit of the year before. Tricky to directly compare profits to earlier years, global lockdowns, then Russia's invasion of Ukraine saw the value of energy dip and then peak. But under new leadership, there are some big decisions ahead now for BP, including how closely to stick with their controversial and ambitious green strategy. It's worth a reminder, BP might argue that they do contribute a lot of tax, they don't set the value of energy and nor do they decide what we pay for it. Nevertheless, on the day, the final £299 payments are being made to households that need it most. Profits of £11 billion can make for uneasy reading. Nina, thanks very much indeed. Floods of tears on a plane once, and uh, we won't give a Dexter. Yeah. Um, what can you tell then? So, Emma and Dexter meet on the night of their graduation. Um, so, yeah. Self-tape, and I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> Just my love. <laughs> and then one day I was like in bed and like this isn't oh. uh, like your character Emma, she's got a Yorkshire accent. Yeah. I'm hearing, right? Yeah, um... yeah, yeah. I got a call from my agent saying they love you, they really want you, but they're just not sure about the accent. So they need I had a Zoom meeting with her scheduled for a Saturday evening. So I spent the whole <laughs> getting over his like getting over his stutter. Oh yeah. Educated Yorkshire wasn't out. So I just watched a lot of Emma. <laughs> I, I didn't. Do, I didn't agree. I thought oh, it was pretty good, but that's, so did that's that. I mean, I'm I not from your. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Leo, tell us a little bit your, about your character, Dexter. So he um, he's a very sort of fun-loving, ambitious young man, um, and as time goes on, he gets more ambitious. He gets um, and he he behaves pretty badly at times. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe an understatement. Um, <laughs> Made up a joke at this <laughs> at this guy's expense. It's a great, it's just, it's a great, great actor. Oh, just pop. we'll be sticking with us because later we'll be. Amanda, lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and David Nichols David binds Nichols. us okay. all together. It's a date. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely heartbreaking mm. when they finally leave. But also quite nice as well. Mm. And it's really nice to play a woman. Randall, who is head of fashion at Bonhams. Now, this is quite an incredible, unique auction, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. It's the first time Bonhams has bought anything like this to auction. It's props and it's uh, costumes from all six seasons of The Crown, so it's amazing. Can't ignore this uh, large, giant taxi behind us. So, <laughs> so is this actually like the real character? So a very special lot is the reproduction of Princess Diana. Yes. I would like to see if you can guess at what these are going up. <laughs> Five grand. <laughs> Not quite. 30 to 50,000. 30 to 50. <laughs> Not quite. And the revenge. Not quite. 8 to 12,000. Oh, 8 great. to 12,000. Finally, the mistress from Kate. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Oh, that is. How do you put a price on that? 500 pounds. Go to charity. And this ring is staying with me, Lorraine. <laughs> Thank you. It is beautiful. It is big injectables. We basically have little. I think one of the most powerful things about this is that you're talking to people who've had procedures, but also being really honest mm -hmm. about your own experience. Just, yeah. just tell us why you wanted to do that. Well, first of all, what, what have you been through? Um, or worse, it yeah. can be fatal. But I guess part, part of the challenge is, you know, if you tighten up the regulations here, as many people are saying, mm. and therefore make it more expensive here more people might then go abroad. It's, it's tough, it's, isn't it's it? It's a possibility, you know. OK, so for maybe teenage suit of perfection isn't ever achievable because, you know, down the line, you yeah. might have regrets. I think the first and I take it slower. Well done, Olivia. John's lost Thank the you. Word. So, no, I, think, I, think it's John. I think it's absolutely fascinating, yeah. and uh, you know, I applaud your honesty for, for you. you know everything you've done. It, it's a fa Nottingham yeah. that allowed this man to fall, fall through the gaps because he was not well. He shouldn't have been able and free to to to, to, to roam Nottingham like that. Was, that was his the nickname was serial killer. 
at university. Mm, to excuse, of no, course. What? No, I get your point. I get your um, but, point. But there were... Failings. Maybe there were ways it could have been prevented. Absolutely. Just yeah. Russia is the argument that's being made. Yeah, General Patrick Sanders in one of his last speeches as head of services because there is this kind of systemic culture of sexism, abuse. There, you know, they've had their big Me Too moment, how female, con- uh, female soldiers, people from the LGBTQ community are treated by the army. You know, it doesn't sound necessarily like the most brilliant place to work and to serve. And so I think maybe if we made it a slightly kind of more inclusive culture, we wouldn't have so many people leaving, we wouldn't have such a problem with recruitment. Do you think all over the world, back to Israel to fight. I just don't... I mean, this, we have a choice, don't we, about how we spend our money. And I think maybe, you know, we could probably invest some of this, you know, our ailing public services or maybe our armed forces or maybe social care or mental health provision. I don't know. But I imagine that just a few kind of key voters will see a few more pounds in their pocket before we go to the polls, would be and my guess. how much popularity boost do you think this will give to the Conservatives? Probably not that very much, if I'm honest. Mm. And, you know, the national do. is they do put things into people's pay packets and, you know, people, people actually silly believe I think that. lots of people would feel like that. I think, yeah, a more practical curriculum, financial literacy would, would go down really well. I could have done with it. Yeah. Mm. Great. Go on, you've got one minute. A beautiful workshop near Brighton to find out just how these incredible costumes are made. But before I speak to the staff, let me tell you some fun facts about Series 5 of The Masked Singer. 20 costumes, six months of graft, 25 workers, 250 metres of ribbon, over 300,000 sequins, 5,000 crystals and 800 kilograms of clay were used in the making. We'll find out more about that in a bit. But first, let's speak to the director, Tim. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Good. I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. The costumes you make are crazy, borderline silly, and I love it. How do you convince the producers of the show to take on board what you're designing? We, we come up with these sort of dotty ideas, and there's a lot of... Like chicken Caesar salad here, Alexander Armstrong. How, when do you find out which celebrities you're going to be working with? I don't with? find out until really up to the last yeah. minute. So only occasionally do I ever find out. So if I go to set, then I'll, I'll, I might meet one or two of them. Yeah. And one of the team will find that we came up with the idea of the puppet, and the whole team sort of got on board, and we made this crazy costume with a little puppet bunny. I love it, running. and I love that your son helped <laughs> create the costumes as well. Thanks, Tim. Uh, moving on to Emma now, who stood by Woody Grubb, Alison Hammond's costume for the Masked Singer. Emma, nice to meet you. Hi. These costumes. She has a dresser with them yep. and we look after them with a lot of fans and water and as many breaks as we can give them. Um, Alison's costume actually came with a, a, a pop-up, pop-down it, crotch. Got, it's got a crotch poppy. I yes. love it. <laughs> you could have waited, Alison. Let's <laughs> not talk about Alison. So and then if they want to drink, you've got really long straws, we haven't do. you? We do. We fashion a small hole somewhere in the mud. There, look, there's weather. Love deal, more the weather. We're going to speak to Lou now. Now, every mask, we're talking about 800 kilograms of clay. Everything starts as a clay model, doesn't it, Lou? It does, yeah. We've got some great gain. I think probably about the price of an expensive wedding dress. <gasps> And I just, can I say Snow yeah. Leopard, which was Gloria Hannaford's costume in this latest series, is absolutely bearded dragon. And I know that I'm never going to get on the mask singer, so this is probably the best, the closest I'm ever going to get to it. So I might as well start auditioning now. I'll see you in the next series, guys. Oh, oh will I? Hello, you're watching The One Show live on BBC One, and I play with Ronan Keaton. And Alex Jones. Now, as it's Wednesday, Matt is here. What are you delivering tonight? And joining him is singer Alfie Bow, who'll be telling us how this weekend you can watch the world's biggest... Coming up tonight, we'll hear the incredible survival story of 87 year old Suzanne Ripton ahead of Holocaust Memorial thinking neighbor and is now sharing her memories with the next generation and of course we always love to hear from you so if you've got a question for Giovanni or Alfie then do get in touch details are there for you now but first it's over to Matt for watchdog and he's kicking off with that story about companies how is it a curler is it a hairdryer <laughs> no <laughs> it's a top of the range hair styling tool oh. Ronan All right. <laughs> Yeah, which uh, wait for an air wrap. Yeah, th- work. Uh, still to come tonight, we'll be revealing what tonight. So earlier today, a special ceremony was held at the Guild Hall in London, where survivors of the Holocaust shared their experiences ahead of Holocaust Memorial Day this weekend. And we're about to hear another moving story from a woman who's making sure her personal experience is never forgotten. Um, There are so many powerful stories like this and of course one of them has recently been turned into a film called One Life starring Sir Anthony Hopkins which tells the story of World War II hero Sir Nicholas Winton. Yeah and just before Christmas we showed a very special interview. I apologise. You've you've been very busy with your... You'd have cried if you were with me. You'd have been like well what's the point? Now uh, whether you've got short hair, long hair, blonde hair, a brunette, whether you're a redhead doesn't really matter. If you need to dry your hair this could be great. And I was thinking... You know, when Ooh, you go, a lot of people have got some really expensive uh, sort of 
a toolbox of hair drying equipment. Mm. But when you go on holiday, you don't have the luggage allowance to take all that with you. And, light, and lightweight. Light, is that? I mean, it really it is, is like, which means you don't get tired when you're doing it either. It's very true. Actually, somebody did actually point that out to me, that it, you know, just the fact of having just one um, uh, item as well, you know, you're yeah. not kind of trying to you know, you know, navigate the whole thing of brush and... And you can use it as a hairdryer, just put the drying nozzle on. Absolutely. It's a you great just put the directional on. hairdryer. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> they're using them in the salon now. Yeah. In fact, use this, it's just well, brilliant. Look, you've got a 60-day money-back guarantee. Very conscious about, you know, all of those attachments. You know, there could be lots of them. I don't want gimmicky things. I want the ones that... As yeah. well. So this one you don't have as much grip because you're literally just running it all the way through. Do you know, I think it's really well yeah. thought through, Nikki. I think it's a real... And Jasmine joins me. Now, what? Oh. <laughs> We've been following all of your lives. It's just the most... I think for me... Um, I, I, you can only imagine just how yeah. you were just nearly, nearly in the final. Yeah, I literally said, I was like spitting distant and gutted. But you were, you were anticipating your demise a bit last night, weren't you? Yeah, your last day. But also, it's really hard to enjoy your last day when your last day is literally just before. You know that you're probably not going to be there. And it's like, I'm happy for everyone else. But, oh, Zaki boy, he's, um, he's strong-willed. He's very strong-willed and unfortunate. Things. He's a very clever guy and you were brilliant we as well. Him. I really do think if you two had been together in yeah. it and stuck together and had true belief in one another. Yeah. You could have brought anybody down. Yeah, and I think because I'm a strong personality, he was like, I can't fathom like why you're still here, so you must be a traitor. The right decision to go with me yeah. with like, Zach's <laughs> guidance. Um, yeah, I, it is a shame the right decision to go with me yeah. with like, Zach's <laughs> guidance. Um, yeah, I, it is a shame. Exactly, it's like a drop the mic <laughs> yeah. moment, isn't it? And the traitors were revealed to you both for the genuine shock. Honestly, I could have passed out. <laughs> like, I'm gonna kiss him. However, he is, <laughs> he is really, really lovely. Like, I was always turning, and I was like, and I was really close to Harry. Yeah. And I was like, wow. In there, he's yeah. something else. It just brings this other side to people. Yeah, I think it presented to me. Mm -hmm. And Paul's just like this lovely, like, I'm <laughs> just like, who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is at all. He's listened to every word that he's saying. It's just not. And indeed, our day's we talking about this. Welcome, away, Harry, yeah. welcome again, Vogue. <laughs> lovely to have you both here. It's been all consuming, hasn't it? If yeah. you're in, I've you're got in. life now. Everybody's <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> got a lot of laundry to really? catch up on. <laughs> you're, do you're doing imp impressions and all. Sorry. So it's so funny because he was like, I know what elusive means. And then he was like, How was I even being elusive? And I was like, So you do know what it means? Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. So funny. You just kept talking. <laughs> Sometimes when some of them really go on and on, you're like, I, just, yeah. I want really I want good stuff. Straight, yeah. 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 I once slipped on a crisp packet so hard that I broke my ankle. Oh. Oak? Well, you know, I'm obsessed with being Irish. I am going to say, Carrie, that can't. Be correct, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy, is it? It's not easy. I just offer embarrassment. I relive the shame no. every time I tell people. I I'm can't glad think you why tell, I tell people. Why do I tell people? You played it brilliantly. Really, so really.